<laughs> the Western world is in ruin and ready to collapse. The so-called resistance leaders, they rage bait the slaves, pushing their own demise. Stay angry indeed. <laughs> Black pills of despair rain from the sky. No one can stop the fall. No one can stop Black Chad, demon of despair. No, stop putting your emotion what? into it. Wait, we need to look for alternatives. What's this? We need to look for solutions. We can't just, you know, give in to despair and this program demoralization of the West. Come on, guys. What? You're not full of rage or despair? Fine. I will imprison you in an astral dungeon and keep you away from the others. No one will hear about your alternatives or your solutions. We are silly indie brands. No one cares. The despair programming must continue. What? <laughs> Welcome to forever, nerd! You haven't won, Black Chad! Oh, yeah? I'll talk to and review every indie creator I can, and we'll fight against your despair! Even the bad ones? Yes, <laughs> even the bad ones! Oh, uh. You don't get it. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me! Uh. Now on with the show. <laughs> Hell nerds! What's going on, guys? <laughs> Thanks for coming back, Mr. Edwin. Ace is it Acevedo? Is that right? Close enough? Nope, nope. Okay. Uh, I think, let's see. All right, your mic looks like it's all right. Somebody's mic is off. Oh, Evely. Uh, today, I'm also with, uh, I have Evely as a guest, first time guest. Welcome to Howdy. the show, Evely. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. And of course, uh, returning asshole Chris Fisk. So thank you <laughs> for coming back, Chris. It's an important role. <laughs> to help role. me co host this uh, <laughs> Take terrible the carnival. Uh, I had tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for coming. And uh, I really appreciate it. This, is, this should be a good one. So, uh, uh, we've got uh, Edwin is here talking about Bloodbone. Uh, as well as some other stuff, because last time you were here in May, you had uh, what was it, the White Leopard? Uh, yeah, Raid of the White Leopard. Yeah. Raid of the White Leopard. Yeah, yeah, and that, that how that did really well too, didn't it? Yeah, uh, did well. Right now, I'm halfway through fulfillment, so uh, you know, being yeah, you like out for me, I backed it. Yeah, it's like oh, project yeah. after project from you, isn't it? Like you're pretty busy. Yeah. Trying, you know, got a five year plan, you know, trying to put these books out, get them in people's hands. So that's that's the plan. Yeah, definitely. And Bloodbone nice. looks really cool. Uh, it's like a vigilante kind of on the. You described it as like on the street kind of vigilante stuff. So yeah, street level uh, style, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, and then Evely Music, uh, Evely, you do a lot of different kinds of music, don't you? Um, but I mostly, I guess, I've seen, I've listened to your uh, heavy metal stuff. Yeah, I, I mostly gravitate towards metal. That's kind of what I cut my teeth on. The metal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I do dabble in other things, everything from lo-fi to, like, I don't know, acoustic, indie, pop to uh, just whatever people need. And then I have yeah. strange musical tastes, and sometimes I'm like, I'm going to try that and see what happens. So it's just, yeah. yeah. But most yeah, I tend to listen to, Very like, cool. synth like synth music or like dark synth like that's pretty cool the yeah. lo-fi stuff seems kind of lazy to me i don't know man i don't know where I don't see what you like. <laughs> that's why i like it i'm like i could write this it's actually really hard yeah. though but it's, all, it's awesome background music now you can just kind of like yeah just like zone out on it yeah yeah oh yeah that's funny all right so uh anyways uh i guess that's the welcomes uh and chris screw you no just kidding uh and so with today's show we've got uh we've got three <laughs> we've got three uh three categories with three song or three songs three questions each we got music on my mind uh the three categories we got today is uh heavy metal go figure vigilantes and vigilante soundtracks yes that's right oh. i've combined the two and then the the uh the vigilante soundtracks of course is vigilante movies with badass soundtracks so that should be fun uh, I guess since you are a first time guest, Evely, I will let you pick Vigilante's Heavy Metal or Vigilante Soundtracks. 
I'm going to take heavy metal because it's probably the only one I'm going to have a shot of having any chance. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm probably not going to be very good because I, uh, yeah, like I said, my musical tastes are strange. So a lot of like common <laughs> bands, I'd be like, I, I know of them. Judas Priest. What is this? Oh, oh wow. Moby uh, Ray. That's <laughs> awfully eclectic. Yeah. <laughs> motor face is motor Mo no, is it, is motor it head motor, motor is face head. is that what it is well there's something the involving called? your face <laughs> <laughs> yeah so all right uh first category heavy metal um question one these three bands are considered the unholy trinity of the first metal bands anybody can, oh sorry the rules are anybody can jump in and answer if you know it, uh, if, if it's correct or if it's funny enough, you will get the point. Is it uh, <laughs> Black Sabbath? That's got to be oh, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. We'll see. Mm. All I got. <laughs> <laughs> Black Sabbath. Uh, Edwin, would you like to take a shot? Uh, Rolling Stones? No, it's not heavy Priest metal. <laughs> is Judas uh, Priest one of those? No. Uh, it is uh, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Zeppelin? and Deep Purple. Zeppelin yeah, is I, not metal. That's like when Jeff yeah. Rotel won the MTV Metal Music Awards and the fuck <laughs> is up there with a the flute. Seriously. Uh, Wait, I like Google dis you're... Dis disagrees. Okay. So, I thought Deep when you are coming to these questions, you're just like, I don't know, Led Zeppelin. Like, you're just making it up. Like, let's see if they get it right I mean, now. <laughs> that's what I've done on every other show. But I was trying to be more professional with you guys. Deep I was Purple? trying to actually be right. So hey, uh, if I the Google like AI yeah. gods say it is, then that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see, Edwin gets it. We're all at their mercy. We're all at their mercy. That's a well, stretch, metal is Google. Lead is technically a heavy metal, but not yeah. heavy metal. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, all right. Uh, one second. Stop screen. All right. Question number two. I'm giving myself um, plus one on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Edwin, we'll see. You, you, there's plenty of time to be redeemed. All right, uh, question two. This band was listed as the loudest band for a performance in 1984 by Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, again in 94, uh, where they stopped, well, they were, they stopped actually doing, Guinness stopped doing the loudest, uh, but it was still credited. And then, uh, and again in 2008, they reclaimed the title. Uh, who was this heavy metal loudest band? Anybody? It was, uh, I believe it was Motorhead. Was it, it was Metallica? What? Motorhead, <laughs> right? Motorhead. Motorhead. It was not yeah. Motorhead. And it was it not wasn't? Metallica. No. I thought they had the record for loudest band on the planet. Yeah. Lemmy said mm. it all the time. Yeah. 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 It's my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one second. Let me let me pull it up. My eyes like clumsily Phil Collins. through all of this. <laughs> it was Phil Collins. You got me. No, it was in fact. Man of War. That's right. Oh, Manowar. really? Everybody's favorite cheesy Never band. Never would have guessed Man of War. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did it in 84. Uh, then they redid it in 94. But Guinness was like, nah, we don't want people trying it because it'll it's hurt you. Clean, but then I'm like, yeah, they were oh, was dead in, like, by 94. Well, so. I think yeah. even Deep Purple is credited as being like the loudest band at one point. So uh yes. anyways it was another... the fact that they did it like three times is kind of what i was going for so this is another fact that i had memorized that's been wrong my entire life and not just me but also my friend group <laughs> is that right <laughs> yeah i also learned yeah. earlier this like this month that uh i was totally wrong about blast beats i always thought blast beats was whenever the double bass goes really quick like spurts oh yeah mm -hmm. and it's not mm -hmm. yeah it's all snare based it's the quick snares that learns it that's nice. a blast beat. Okay, I did not know that. There's so many things that I just I don't know anything apparently. Anyway, <laughs> continue, continue. I'm, so, I'm giving myself a half point because I always believe that it's my truth. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna take that half point and the other point away for saying. Yeah, you know what? And put them together because that's a full point. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, question three in heavy metal. This band's fan com uh, community is known as the Panzer Battalion. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I guess? Uh, yes. Shout out. Is it Sabaton? Uh, yes. Ding, ding, ding. It is hey. in fact Sabaton. Let me pull her up. Ooh, I gotta get better at this. Boom. Yes, Sabaton. That band is a. Uh, 
They're interesting. Their singer's funny. I can't tell if, you, if he has an accent. Have you ever seen their show? I have not seen their show. So No, but I need to get a, a chest protector like that. For, These like, guys are a real band? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a real band? <laughs> yeah. no, they just take I mean, pictures. It's AI. <laughs> it's AI. <laughs> Never I'm going to name a band Boot. Like, <laughs> Double check, <laughs> you know? <laughs> is not in fact a real band that is an ai generated band way to go edwin yeah, yes right. <laughs> you are correct sir <clears throat> yeah all right uh way to go i'm going to give that one to me because you guys don't know shit about heavy metal no I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. <laughs> um all right this round we are gonna have well, why does edwin... chris not get to answer yeah he's like how about you get some real good bands how about that one uh for uh, the <laughs> The next category we have either vigilantes or vigilante soundtracks, and this Let's one's do, on uh, Edwin. Feel free. Soundtracks. The soundtracks. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought you might like this one. I didn't know that you would pick it, but because like I went to your fund my comic uh, link and uh, like the your trailer for Bloodbone, it's got heavy metal, and I was like, oh sweet, maybe he'll he'll be into it. So, um, anyways, moving along. Uh, vigilante soundtracks well vigilante movie soundtracks how about that uh, question one this movie has one of the worst best rocket launcher scenes ever yeah worst best rocket launcher scene anybody uh, is it a chuck norris flick <laughs> or is it that, uh, that kung fu one where it just as soon as the rocket launcher goes off the credit starts and it says like they live happily ever after or whatever and then the credits roll uh i'm not aware of that one but best it sounds pretty worst cool. rocket launcher scenes yeah, yeah best I didn't worst. Even know that was a category i don't know it was a <laughs> <laughs> go criteria. back to the, oh, sorry, the animals uh, of rocket launcher history Yes, <laughs> in all of the rocket launcher movies. See, Only movie I remember for rocket launcher usually has Arnold starring in it. So yes. <laughs> actually, I was going for Punisher Warzone. Oh yes, oh. okay, yeah. All right, that's fair. This is pretty pretty stellar. Yeah, I actually just it's watched pretty this bad time, like, and great ago. all at the same time. Yeah, he goes for it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice try. That is oh, that is man. great. That is great. Fuck uh, off. Than that. <laughs> it just it I'm doesn't pay that. to be a bad guy in those kinds of situations. Uh, all right. I think the guy and, um, the best rocket launcher hitting a guy parkouring from building yes. to building scene. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait a second. I'm trying to find the. There it is. So I wanted to share with you guys what's actually on that soundtrack because it's it's pretty pretty badass. <laughs> Let's see. One second. That, that was absurd. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, um, yeah, we've got like Slayer, Hatebreed, Seether. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these you guys like. Um, I, Machines of Loving Grace, Slipknot, uh, all kinds of bands on this Pendulum. One, so. I, I would like to enter in what I just entered in the private chat. It's the best, worst rocket launcher ending. Ah. Wait a minute. I didn't see it. i got like <laughs> too much going on. How about, uh, how about, uh, how about you, you share that one? I'll share your screen. How about that? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Let me uh cue it up. See, these are a bunch of bands aside from Slayer and Rise Against. I know the names, but I don't know. You don't know their music, kind of yeah. I know Pendulum. Well, there's like, like a... Dave Mustaine, Static X fan. team up, and oh. Rob Zombie, and yeah, yeah. interesting. It's like new metal, second. and then yeah, lyrics like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, oh this is already good. <laughs> I already like this. Get him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, take that. Uh, hilarious. Like Power Rangers B-roll. <laughs> oh, oh, not in the back. Oh, oh, oh scary. Hit him Best in rocket launcher point. ever. Watch this. This is how it ends. <laughs> He's like, oh, you bastard. If no. only you hadn't hit me in my pressure He's got point. a Derringer rocket launcher. Oh. You're kidding. Get That's... real. Oh, he had no idea. Look how it takes time, bro. buddy. He didn't Ooh. even. Try. <laughs> That's the ending. Leave <laughs> uh, him up. Leave himself up to the authorities. Yeah. That's the like that was it. You know what? We need. That's why we need comprehensive gun control, guys. Jesus. That's what happens? What's the world coming to? The shoulder, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's happens. The new shoot from the hip, right? Yeah, shoot from the wrist, like. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, uh, let's get back on track. Gosh, all right. Uh, Question number two. 
Mm, this movie had the career making video and overplayed radio song Bring Me to Life. Oh, that yeah. wasn't a movie. Like <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, well, I can't well, like a... you, you must never have saw no. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Goofy movie. That wasn't the one though. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. It was not a Goofy movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me to life. <laughs> just kidding. No, it's I get what you're yucking about that one music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. All right. Uh, Edwin, would you like to take a guess? I have no idea. I've never heard of it. <laughs> He's like, this is stupid. I can't believe it. Evanescence. Is it... Is yes, it, it was Evans? Evanescence. Uh, the oh, movie, wait, of we're... course, is Ben Affleck yeah. Daredevil. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, how does that? Uh, he's like, ah. I haven't seen you some decent stuff on there. Uh, again, see there. Uh, let's see what else. <laughs> Still they're, they're, they're yeah. exactly a, Johnny Pool, Rob Zombie. Soundtrack. Yeah, I think they were in their in their. Like, like, oh, well, you got a movie soundtrack. We got a song. Yeah, we're <laughs> on it, bro. <laughs> <You gotta laughs> get in. Who was thinking of this? Now tonight, when I go to bed, I'm gonna look at my wife and be like, "In the morning, can you wake me up?" <laughs> why why are you? you? <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Why do you? Why should I do that? Save me. <laughs> what? She's like, not this shit again. Daredevil <laughs> 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 and Affleck. <laughs> yeah. See, you get it. Mm. All right. Uh, so, man, it's not looking too good for you guys so far. I think I'm winning. <laughs> out. All right. Question number three. Uh, this movie features an undead revenant and was based on former D and D artist's graphic novel. Hmm. Bro? Mm -hmm. It was a movie and it had a great, great soundtrack. A vigilante movie, in fact. Revenant, vigilante movie. Mm -hmm. well, did, Maybe did, I threw too much out there all at once. Did Edwin say it? What was the guess? Anybody? Was it the crow? Ah, yes. Ding, ding. Hey. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm too loud. Seen it. Uh, get out of here! Wait, All right. Wait, are you get, saying now? That the... You get out of here right now. How have you never <laughs> seen the crow? Guys, I appreciate it. <laughs> I haven't. I oh. just those movies. I didn't watch a lot of movies growing up. I played a lot of video games, listened to a lot of music, but I didn't watch tons of movies or TV shows. So yeah. I'm like, uh, it's a crow. Fair enough. Skelter. Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, exactly. The crow. So yeah, we got like the Cure on there. Ron oh, Ron's band, band. Uh, fans, Pantera, uh, Pantera, all kinds yeah, of great yeah. artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, man, oh, I've, I've listened to this. I had it on tape, you know, like it was a really good soundtrack. Loved it. Uh, yeah. And I suggest, highly suggest go watch the movie. The, um, the, the graphic novel was phenomenal. And, uh, in case anybody out there doesn't know, uh, James Obar, who created the crow also did, um, uh, work black and white work in the Dungeons and Dragons, uh, second edition books. So just a little nerd trivia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Category three, and uh, Chris, since you're going to choose this one, uh, this Killed is it. Vigilantes. Uh, question number one. Everybody ready for this one? This one, yeah. these are going to be way so harder ready. than the other ones. No, so <laughs> uh, question one. Uh, although he's held his own or bested superheroes while being powerless, meaning he's not a superhero. Uh, this psychopathic anti-hero was afraid of the open ocean. Mm -hmm. Was it Batman? Uh, it was not Batman. <laughs> not Batman. I didn't know he was afraid. Wow! Like, There's water everywhere. I can't swim. Yeah. I can't swim. I'm having nightmares. When he's yelling, like, <laughs> I never learned to swim. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bad guy just his retreat on boats. He's like, oh, yeah, he's like, we're <laughs> boiled again. Where's my swimming wings? Oh, <laughs> shit. The bad swimmies. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. Um, well, does anybody want to take a, a random guess? Moon Knight. <laughs> that is a very random guess, and I like it because nobody <laughs> thinks of Moon Knight when they should. Uh, actually, no. Uh, we're coming back to The Punisher. The Punisher. Yeah, there I is a um, yeah. I, I I don't have it on my little huh. uh, pull up screen here, but yes, there is a an arc. I don't know if they got rid of it, but they got rid of Frank, right? So yeah, uh, that he was afraid of the open ocean. So does that uh, where his family got killed? What's that? Is that tied to when his family got killed? <laughs> yeah, it might be. I'm not sure. <clears throat> All right, uh, question number two. Despite having superpowers, this vigilante's surprise weakness is a sprinkler system or rain. 
Who the hell is weak to rain or a sprinkler system? Is it some kind mm-hmm. of like snowman or something? Or a lecker? <laughs> He's like, not again. <clears throat> Don't eat the yellow snow, snowman. <laughs> is it static shock? It is uh, no, it is not. Good try. Uh, it good is guess, in fact yeah. Daredevil. Really? Oh, that's right. Because yes. all the motion in the air, it screws with the vision. Right. Yes. Um, again, I don't have this pulled up, but there was a there was a scene <laughs> where there was a uh Daredevil equal and uh, like he was blind and a martial artist and all that shit. And so Daredevil was like, I'm gonna get him, and he dropped like a sprinkler system on him, and uh <laughs> it just made it tougher on Daredevil didn't actually make it harder for oh, the bad guy so I was it kind of backfired like a yard sprinkler like like hey boss how should we <laughs> set up the perimeter he's like put sprinklers there with like what they got like those little ones that goes one of these yeah, like yeah. The shit, 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 shit. he's like shit what do i do boss <laughs> <laughs> daredevil's like shit i never thought of this what do i do stick just <laughs> sitting outside just rocking like, yeah <laughs> Yeah, he's just a sucker in California. All right. Uh, number three. Uh, th- he has an impressive rogues gallery to beat up. Uh, sorry, mentally ill rogues gallery to beat up. Uh, but this hero was told he can't lick them. Said he can't lick his rogue gallery. I stumbled That's all over not this. Batman? Uh, it is Batman. Yes, oh. in oh, fact. I was gonna ding, ding, Commissioner yeah, Gordon yeah. says, Batman, do not lick. Anybody yes. does, or, uh, what is it? Because he doesn't want to give him hepatitis. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, get that out of your mouth. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah, put it down. <laughs> he's got the Harley Quinn in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, Batman can't go down. Oh man, that's too bad. Although you got to imagine with that skin tight outfit, it might not be a bad thing to not. Oh yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> he just made there. this. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like, very it's hot. That wasn't a fart, that was the leather moving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was the suit creaked. Oh, what? That just remind me, have you ever seen the videos of, uh, they do the dub overs where there's one of Elvis performing and they cut out all the music and yes! it's just him like dancing on the stage. That's, that's what <laughs> remind me of here. It's just like the squeak noises of his sneakers. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've never like, seen a <laughs> dance like a, Sounds like a it's basketball game. It's like, yeah, it's like 40 seconds and it's, it's brilliant. Did you ever see the uh, dancing in the streets version of that? Where they take out the music and it's just Mick Jagger and it's like, I I have that as well. Yeah, I hurt myself laughing in the streets. Yeah, (laughs) they're real good. Who else was in that? Was that David Bowie? David Bowie, yeah. Oh yeah. Just Just gain it up. Just gain it all up. (laughs) So. Good for them. Jeez, can you imagine all the tail the two of them pulled? Like all the supermodels. Wait, wait the female or the male? I don't want to. I don't want to remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, her, herpes doesn't discriminate there, Chris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably all of them. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, <laughs> anyways, uh, there we go. That's the game. And uh, once again, turns out I'm the winner. So I like oh, it. No. We're all yeah. winners. Yeah. All winners. Well, I mean, <laughs> technically. We're all winners. That's true for being here and playing. Yeah, and, uh, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Chad of color has he won? Chad of color. Yeah, he's actually uh, he must be sleeping. I don't know. He hasn't been around for a minute. All right. So uh, I do want to talk about uh, your guys' projects. So uh, we did the vigilante stuff and we did the heavy metal stuff. So I figured maybe we should talk about uh, why we did those things. So uh, let's go with Edwin. Edwin, you got uh, was it Bloodbone? Let me pull that up. One. One second. Shaken, not stirred. <clears throat> All right. Haven't seen this either. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Evelyn. This is what it's going to happen. You're going to have to come on my show when I do uh, watch alongs, and you're going to okay. have to watch these movies with me for the first time. <laughs> Got uh, it. Anyways, Get caught up. We... what's that? Get caught up. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <clears throat> so, one second. Let me see if I can play the. The sound or not? Let's see. Can you guys hear that? No. Nay. Is it not playing? Ooh. No. It's, yeah, the audio wasn't. No sure. audio. Yeah. I like it. I don't know why it doesn't play for. Hmm. Well, you, it, you if you're sharing your screen, you have to. There's a little toggle at the bottom that says uh, "Share Screens Audio." You're so smart. Let's see if That's I can track it. Now. Yeah. It says, uh, "Stop screen." All right. Let's try again. Share screen. Okay. 
Yeah. Do not compromise the metal. There we go. <laughs> Mute website. No, I don't want that. All right. Allow. All right, let's try again. How about that? Mm -mm. Still nothing, huh? I don't know why it's stealing that then. Um, let me, That's uh, all right. I mean, you can go and check it out. It is pretty badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Yeah. Hold on, because there's no audio. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can't hear it. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the white larvae. Nice Jones. beat em up. I like it. It looks great. Uh, and you're you're the artist on that, then, Edwin? Mm. Uh, no, I'm the writer. Oh, right on. Very cool. Right, fellow writer. <laughs> yeah, hashtag just a writer. Hey. <laughs> Let's see. Right, without us, All there's right. no story. <sighs> Look at that. So true. So true. Holy cow. Who did the art on this? Uh, the cover's by Shelby Robertson. Mm. Hell yeah. Good find. Good one. Yeah. Shelby uh, killed the cover. Uh, interior yeah, art yeah. by Ronald Belay. Uh, he did most of the uh, story. Uh, it's in Ashcan, so it's uh, has two stories in it. Once the uh, main story by Donald, then it's got uh, an additional four page short story by Maxi Dallo. Awesome, whoa, yeah, so, uh, like a fun I introduction, really like to, yeah. So, this new character in this kind of new world, so it's, it's, it's been a blast to do, yeah. That's I'm cool. getting some Max vibes, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Max. A bit. <laughs> love just it. beating it up. Man, look yeah. at that dude. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy's like Bane is a pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit, look at the gap on him, too. If that's one leg and that's the other. <laughs> Avenge me, brother. Avenge me, brother. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> He's like, can I fit in there? <clears throat> no. Um, <laughs> it's a Home Depot shop. Yeah. Pop is too small. Ooh, this looks Whoa. sweet, man. So uh, oh. basically what goes on here? Uh, got some some criminals. Well, he looks like a fucking orc or something. Oh wait, I can't say that. That's racist. He looks like a goblin, right? <laughs> That's racist too. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I, I totally forgot. Too. forgot. That one. Dungeons and Dragons has always been racist. You bigot. Yeah. So this is the uh, story Maxi did. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's always been racist. I'm sorry. What's that? <laughs> oh, Ooh, look did. at that. Who's muted? Did I do uh, it? Edwin's muted. There we go. Yeah, so I'm on a bit of a delay with StreamYard. Anytime a video plays, it's like oh. my whole system just kind of... Ah, shit. Just like, so like <laughs> you know, they've been having problems, so <laughs> you're yeah, fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so it's like uh, you have this second story here by uh, has Bloodbone tracking down a serial killer who's been uh, killing young women at night. So, you know, just showing some of his, like, uh, vigilanteism, you know, him taking care of the city. Yeah. And, and see how uh, the characters in the city react to him. Well, she doesn't awesome. look like a street worker or uh, oh, watch out. Um, anyways, yeah, she doesn't look like a hooker. So that's, I mean, at least he's. <laughs> Stupid hmm. girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. How many pages is this? Uh, it's uh, Ash Can, so 16 pages. Okay. Nice. I like the uh, the mask. It's very what is that? Uh, uh, Grifter is that his name? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah very cool. Uh, and how long do you have on? Uh, how long is this one open for? Uh, it's open for ninety days. Uh, it's okay, been for so like, you got a minute. Yeah, long like a week and a half ago. So nice. nice. I like, I like long cam campaigns like that. Some of them I'm like, oh, I need to get that, but I need to yeah. get it not yeah. today. And then I go back yeah. a couple weeks. And like, oh, shit, I meant to get that, and then it's like, sorry, like damn it. So I like <laughs> right, they run a little bit longer. Yeah, I hate it because, like, you know, I can only get so many. So I'm like, all right, let me yes. get, you know, this, this. And then uh, then you see another one come out. You're like, oh, shit, I got to wait. And, you know, yep. hopefully you got the money and the whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the time. It's just, so, yeah, it's a lot. Yep. Look so so that, there's though. two stories in this? I love the colors movie. on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, the, the, when I, this is a second chance campaign. So I did the, the Ash mm -hmm. Can. I put it out through PayPal last year. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I like the original kind of introduction to Blood Bones, like a 12 page ash can. So nice. then I added uh, for the second chance campaign, I added the, the four page short story, got a new cover by Shelby yeah. and stuff. So kind of 
Awesome. I love the expression on this guy's face getting grabbed with the word <laughs> grab on grab. the hand in case you were clear what was happening. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And clothesline. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was very cool. Uh, I love the design of that. So did you help with any of that? Did you help with any of the character design? Or was this like, here's here you go, artist. Uh, give me something good. Oh, no, I gave uh, Dono a lot of the outline. You know, I, I know I wanted like the mask and, and kind of I wanted him to have like a singlet and stuff like that. I wanted him to have like the uh, the tape around the, the hands. Very much kind of like a Jack the MMA fighter. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So it was kind of had that aesthetic to it, and then Donald put his own kind of twist on it, kind of made him bigger than life. He added the big giant kind of like Lobo boots and all that kind of stuff. So, tat 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 tat. More Uzi yeah. sounds. <laughs> <laughs> is that something too? Is, did you tell him like make sure you like write this in there? Is that your artist? No, that's that's all. Flavor? That's all Donald. He he has that. So <laughs> like this, yeah, like so two of pages. Yeah, <laughs> just let him go nuts. You know, when I need to yeah, pull him right. back, I can pull him back. But yeah. <laughs> I guess right, I want to always. add some humor on this because, you know, it is like a very violent book, and you know, I don't want it to be mm. too dour or anything like to get yourself too mm. too serious. You got to have a little yeah. bit of, of some laughs and stuff, so, so right. it yeah. get too, like, crazy. Don't make it too moody. Yeah, yeah. no, it looks fun because like it's kind of cartoony, but it's obviously violent and stuff. It reminds me of almost like a Lobo uh, feel as well. Yeah. Back when um, was it Beasley was doing stuff for it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, it's uh Donald has that kind of style. Anybody who's read Brutus knows he kind of he works well with this kind of like jacked kind of you know uh like anti hero kind of character. Mm -hmm. So he was the perfect yeah. guy for this. Yeah. Monstrous. Yeah, yeah very yeah. cool. How much have you uh how much have you worked with uh Donald Delay? Is this like the first that. thing that you've done? Yeah, no, well, uh, he did the uh, yeah, he did the cover for the first ace. He did the cover for Raid of the White Leopard. Uh, I've commissioned him to do stuff, and then he's done the 12 pages for Bloodbone, and I'll probably get him oh, to yeah. do more stuff in the future for, for Bloodbone. Like, we always work well together. We were similar yeah. thinking as far as, like, what we like to see on a page. So it's yeah. super easy to work with him. Dude, that is cool. so fundamental. Finding, a, like, a, a good, you know, partner or team or something yeah. where you could just – you can bounce back and forth and, and really get, get some shit accomplished. Yeah, and yeah. It, this looks terrific. Yeah, it looks does. like it's uh, exactly what you needed. Um, yeah. So you got ninety days on this. Uh, what's going to come out of Bloodbone uh, after after this one? Do you have anything else um, figured out, like lined up? Yeah, uh, we're. I'm putting out a full Bloodbone number one next year, probably around the fall. It's going to be me and Joe Ball uh, bringing uh, Whoa, Bloodbone nice. life. So it's going to be crazy. I already have pages in a cover, mm -hmm. and like you know. Dang. <laughs> Things that get crazy in in this ash can, which they do the the full number one is gonna be mind blowing because everybody knows Joe. Joe, he's a madman. Joe Ball, yeah. artist. Man, oh. death, 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 you know. Yeah, you had my interest. Make, even right, bigger than life. Interest. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 You had my interest, and now uh, now you say Joe Ball, and now you <laughs> really got my interest. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait for death, death, death. That's gonna be phenomenal. I'm I'm just waiting for that to be finished finally. <clears throat> see so that sounds awesome um i guess uh man you've been so busy are you still gonna carry on with uh the raid of the white leopard uh yep uh but it's uh, right now i'm kind of working on the book two script trying to yeah. get that right uh but yeah but like i said right now it's just a lot of stuff i try not to get too too far ahead especially you know right now i'm finishing up ace volume three which will be oh. out uh early next year it's about halfway colored right now. Uh, should be completely done by the end of the year. I, you know, my letter is super quick. So once I get the full colors in, I'll, I'll have them uh, letter it up and it should be good to go early uh, next year. So that yeah, very cool. wrestling buddy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Definitely oh, that's right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, Chris, Chris, you're big into wrestling too, aren't you? Oh, hell yeah. yeah well, no, I got, like... I got the, uh, the wrestling buddy from, uh, uh, what was it? The uh, the Ace Two was it the yeah. second campaign? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Akula, yeah, yeah. Akula, Akula. Awesome. yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice. I don't know with that whole uh, Bloodbone stuff. Uh... Let me guess, another self insert by an indie creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah Edwin puts on the yeah. he's got some... those... <laughs> <laughs> that rip muscle. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. 
perhaps <laughs> maybe it's more like a metaphor of what's inside i get it it's fine <laughs> so uh very cool very excited to, to see how this goes um, yeah this looks awesome you're, man you're constantly putting out stuff it's it's great to see so yeah congratulations yeah, i hope the hope hope the best for you so yeah, thank you. um and evely i guess let's switch gears a little bit uh evely you you only do music right that's all you got going on yeah, that's I all mean, you got going on. That's yeah, all right, you, man. Because you yeah. do like you do no, like talk them uh, down. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all you do. This man yeah. writes multiple comics, dude. <clears throat> no, just... yeah, yeah. No, I don't do any comics or books or anything cool like you guys. I just do the music. <laughs> so <laughs> I've done a couple slacker. like I, I, I know. <laughs> that's why I became a musician. Um, I did a couple of <laughs> commercials for, for the Android. girls. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. not metal, man. Metal's a tough scene, but um, <laughs> yeah, I did a couple those little short videos I did for the Anvil to advertise those. So if that counts for something, but in terms of my own projects, yeah, mostly just music. It's I don't know. Very I've been doing cool. it since I was a kid, you know, thirteen years old or what have you, and hell yeah, still it's always just been a fun hobby, and it's opened a few doors here and there throughout probably the past decade or so. Just different things. I used to do music. I used to be really big into the video game scene and oh, cool. podcasts and things like that. I had songs peach featured on uh, IGN's podcast beyond a couple times and wrote some intro songs for podcasts. And that sent me to like PAX East and all that. And so that was Whoa. cool. And then, this was back in like, you know, on you guys know that band, they got big in like around 2010. They uh chip tune. It was like Nintendo music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over top yeah of that was they got a big. deal. So I went from death metal, me and a buddy were writing death metal for the longest time. And then once college happened, we got girlfriends and this and that we quit seeing each other as much. So we weren't really writing. I was mm -hmm. like, well, screaming, doing death metal and screaming in an apartment. The neighbors don't love that. And, you know, <laughs> I was, I was with my wife and she's like in the next room. And she doesn't care, but I'm like, oh, you must care. And she's like, I really don't. And I'm like, nah, it's weird, but so you can't like scream. And so I was like, I'm just going to start doing chip tune. So I did that for a while. So mm -hmm. I did, I think, three albums like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of the broom. Off and... It's like, oh, geez, so like <laughs> yeah. banging it again. Just shut up up there. Chip tune's still fun, up. but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of well, scratched that itch, so I'm getting back into the back to my roots with some death metal, and now I'm starting to do some clean vocals as well for the first time mm. ever, and that's been that's been tricky, but I think I'm getting better at it. And I'm actually working. I just finished up a song for a uh, yet to be announced project. A that uh, I did some all clean vocals. I think for the first time, other than the, the cover track I did for McCoppin, but I'm getting better. I think so. Yeah. But yeah. So what so, does that mean, clean vocals then? Like you just kind of singing, singing, just regular singing, yeah. not screaming, not, yeah, not doing gutturals and growls and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not yeah, the fun bro. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I love that, man. It's, it's like you can just bring it. As long as you're intense, it sounds good. Whereas yeah. singing, you're like, oh, that note sounds bad. And you got to go back and <laughs> tweak it. I'm like, shit, got to take like 40, 40 takes. And like, yeah. sounds Damn stupid. it, I'm does pitchy. Sound stupid? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so how many, how many albums do you have? Um, me and my buddy released our first one, this self-titled Eclipse Perfect. And then, uh, I did, there's like a, a EP, seven songs instrumental. And then I have the three chiptune albums. Then I have this one. And I think there was one other one in the mix. I did another one. It was just like instrumental rock with a buddy of mine that is also on there. So I don't know. Was that six or something? Hmm. Something of that nature. And then just one-off songs here and there and other projects that, unfortunately aren't online anymore just other people i've worked with but me individually i think i have four what a bunch of losers dude although like, the first time i broke into two right? it was one 22 track album they were like it's too too long so i've split it 22 wow not, yeah not, in, not ambitious <laughs> enough <laughs> yeah that's like pink well, floyd kind I, of i too. was writing for years just throwing them up on soundcloud and then i was like oh, i guess i should like make this a thing people can buy if they want it and it's like, i'll just put all the songs i've written on one package if you're like this is too long it's like oh so then i split it up on the uh the release on youtube and stuff it'll be um uh -huh. emily with a v one and two and one's more like dance pop pop punk and the other one's more the metal tracks and then crush is the newest release i think it's from end of may i want to say i let that one out cool nice. and more in the works more in the works i'm hoping to do another one maybe spring we'll see how it goes i haven't been able to touch my own music in so long because i'm busy with all these other you know commissions and side projects which is great but yeah uh, sure oh so very so you cool got, you got like a freelance gig going with the commissions yeah it's cool um different people have reached out to me for different projects when it sucks though is i can't do every style of music some people are mm -hmm. just like oh, he's a music guy can do whatever and yeah. uh 
an author I love. I love this this dude. He approached me and he's like, "Hey, my new book. Can you?" And I'm like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, "No, I can't. Like, I, I'm not that. I'm not good enough at the kind of music he wanted. So that sucked. But was it yeah, rap? Wait, <laughs> what, what did he want? Did he do, like, no, I, want, I've like, done rap music or something. Uh, no, no it was rap just, folk. Like, there's rap a lot folk of people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, sure. There's a lot, lot of people in uh in these circles that want uh, orchestral. Mm-hmm. And oh, I okay. do not grow up yeah. on orchestral, and I can I occasionally slip in some violins or a little bit of horn, but yeah. whenever that's what you want through and through, I'm like, ah, I don't know if I have the good enough samples, and then the idea of how to write that stuff, I just don't understand the structures well enough. I could try, but it'd probably just sound like a rock song, but with orchestra instruments, <laughs> which <laughs> did, it might be an interesting experiment. But um, I mean, yeah, Metallica things, tried it. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> tangent some people like that stuff you know it's all right uh, it drove me crazy me and my brother went to see a band called do you guys know durin gray no they're like this weird japanese atmospheric band and their singer is oh. probably all at four foot eleven and he doesn't <laughs> wear a shirt and he's all tatted up and he's got adidas pants with the stripes on the side adidas oh, yeah. shoes opposite colors like black pants white shoes with no laces and it's a mm-hmm. little thing he stands on he gets on there like and just run dmc Yes, with no music playing, he's just like dragging the microphone across the surface and just doing these like reverse screams. Sounds like an eagle taking off and all this <laughs> wild stuff. And then they throw in, like this eight? chaotic piano in the background. So me and my brother went to see them, and we're losing our minds. And they weren't the headlining act. A band called Apocalyptica was who. Oh yeah, they fame. Yeah, they did a song yeah. with um, Three Days Grace or something. So yeah. everyone was there to see them except for me and my brother. And they're doing this song. <laughs> and we're like losing our minds. And then Apocalyptica came out. And we're like, who's this band? And they walk on stage <laughs> with cellos and start playing Metallica covers. Yeah. And everybody's going crazy. I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> um, I couldn't get into it. So, so y'all dumb. Know. Yeah, we're probably by that. So I need to learn more orchestral stuff because there's a demand for it. And it's not that I don't like it. I just I don't have an ear for it yet. So I need to develop that because there's been a lot of a lot of people love that stuff. Well, it's, mm. it's it's just the uh, it's the the current fad, you know. It's kind of like the boong was like the current fad for movie trailers and stuff. <laughs> yes, yeah. and now it's the uh, the slowed down version of an old song you love, "Whisper Sung by Some Girl." Yep, yep. <laughs> or they yeah. take or, a song you love and just make it sound sad, you know? Yeah. Or, or you remember? Do you remember <laughs> like in the seventies where everything sounded like a porno? Where it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like a cop drama where there's like a guy like he's got the gun and you hear like. Yeah. <laughs> or in the 80s where everything had to have a saxophone. It was like, oh yeah. <laughs> or, or all the Dude, saxophone. I like I like me some saxophone. <laughs> yeah. Let's put on some Lost Hulu's in the news. <laughs> yep. So all that stuff is available. It's on all streaming platforms because I have a band camp too, but anywhere you get your music from, just type in the name and you can pull up my whole catalog, more or less. Awesome. The good the best of it, anyways. Production's a little bit rough on the first three albums, but it's getting better and better as time goes along. So yeah. Very cool. So how how do you uh, record all that stuff? How do you prepare uh, what you do? Like, what's it like being a solo <laughs> musician? That's kind of cool because you just you, whatever you want to do, you can do. You don't have to be like take into consideration other people's what they want out of a song. It's kind of yeah. fun to do that. But sometimes I've written things, handed it off to another person and they come back and I'm like, great, <laughs> publish it. It's, it's so, terrific. You're it's doing kind of so fun much in better. that sense. Occasionally, um, and probably more often than not, they bring something back. I'm like, I would have never thought to do that. It's really cool and interesting. And it's yeah. a lot less work for me. Because if you're doing all the drum, pro- drum programming, all the guitar work, all the bass work, all the vocals, just one track can take, you know, a lot, a lot of hours. So it's cool yes. for the most part. And it's, yeah, it's, if you're making it for yourself too, there's not a deadline. There's not people waiting on me to be to say like this is coming out this day. And I'm like, oh, what do I do? It's just whenever it gets yeah. done, it gets done. If it takes a year, two years, twenty years, doesn't matter. It's, it's always been for me. And when other people like my music too, that's cool. So, yeah. and that I feel sounds- that way with my reviews. It's like, well, eventually I'll get to them. Don't 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 hassle me. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting there. Damn it. Um. Anyways. So- yeah. Uh, so. How do you, how do you, what kind of uh, machinery do you have? Do you have a studio at your house or do you just mix it on the computer? <laughs> I have a, uh, an Asus, Asus, I don't want to say the name, laptop from about 2015. And I use Fruity Loop <laughs> nice. because I've been using Fruity Loop since 2000. And I've been, I, I'm, I know how to use it. So I don't want to learn something new. And as far as I can tell, a lot of these um, DAWs where you make your song, they're kind of all the same. And there's people watching, like, no, yeah. they're not. You're using a bad one. <laughs> 
probably true, but you I got to lie to myself because I don't want to learn. You can't have an opinion around here without somebody <laughs> freaking out. So, oh, yeah, God, I get it. They, they might be right. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so I have Fruity Loops. I just build my drums in there, and I have drum samples that I got, and you just plug it in so the drums are done because I don't have a drum kit here. And then for mm -hmm. guitars, I just line everything in, record all that. Uh, same thing with the vocals. I got my, my mic set up, so I just do that here. And it's just a computer, a distortion pedal. I have an amp so I can hear myself in-house, a couple guitars, bass, and that's it. Everything yeah, else that's is what you uh, need. Yeah, any other instrumentation I need, it's just plugins and stuff like that, which isn't as good as the real thing, but it works so, okay if enough. What are you going to do to uh, bring in the orchestra into your house? <laughs> <laughs> I need to build a, like an expansion and then... Because, uh, yeah. like, first of all, add on. Uh, yeah, or we'll do it yeah. in the backyard. <laughs> we'll just set up like, <laughs> like putting their like violin down in dog poop or something. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. It's just it's always been just a fun hobby, and it's really awesome that it's grown into something else. I never anticipated that or expected it. So it's 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 been a lot of fun. Hopefully, it keeps going. And yeah, honestly, it's like if it ends tomorrow, people are like that guy's stuff sucks. This other guy's better. Thanks for, <laughs> for bye. I'll be like, you know what, I. I get, I get it, man. It's been fun. I'm going to keep doing what I do and I'll be over here. Cause it's just, it's always, well, but you are also kind of gaining, gaining a name, uh, you know, around like the hashtag iron age kind of dudes. Right. So uh, am I, I didn't know. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Well, you're like you're, you're hanging out uh, around a lot of iron age dudes. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. how I, mean, I found you. So that's true. I've worked with some of those guys. Um, so and maybe. your trailer for anvil was that was great that, <laughs> that was, was hilarious that was the thing. i was just like man i'm like this is gonna be fun to make and all that and then it, it blew up which was cool um so yeah i'm just kicking around as long as these guys will have me on board and people like yourself will you know have me on or whatever i'm gonna keep doing it and but if like i said if it ends tomorrow it's been fun and i'm just enjoying it while it lasts <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, we are near uh, election cycle and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean ends for you guys, I mean for uh, me. I didn't mean for the uh, <laughs> movement, and everything else, at large. I mean for the schmuck in his basement, you know, making music. No, you Shit. Guys schmuck no in his basement. I'm going to be uh, it. making laws in <laughs> all Sorry, sorry, what was that? So they'll, they'll be making laws in 24 to get rid of all of us. So, yeah, that's as well and yeah. while you can. Yes. All yeah. right. Well, if we're all going down, then I guess, yeah, yeah. I got. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool. Um, and so how does that work? Like for setting up a um, for setting up like your whole business kind of deal, because you're kind of doing it on the side and all that stuff. You've got a, maybe uh, the YouTube stuff and you're on Spotify and all the other thing. Um, do you have like a main website that people can go to? I know like I, you've got your link tree and stuff, but like I do you mean, have like a central or where do you get most of your uh, most of your audience from Spotify or how does that work? I think it most are coming in from iTunes or I Apple Music, whatever they call it nowadays. I think that's where I get the majority of my listeners. It's, it's overwhelming. I think it's like 60 percent. And then I'm going to say there's about 30 from Spotify and then 10 from all these weird ones, these <laughs> things I have. I'm, I'm big in Malaysia or whatever it is. It's just like <laughs> getting plays and like, they, who's in Antarctica listening to me? <laughs> it's the aliens. Uh, who's on the ice wall listening to me? No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I need to talk to him. Like, hey, can I come visit? <laughs> I need some penguins. Um, yeah, that's very so, cool. Yeah, I have. I mean, I don't really have a central hub. It was Bandcamp for the longest time, but people, people aren't going to go to Bandcamp and listen to things. They just don't. Mm. So you got to mm. be where everybody's at. So by having this distribution service, I go through it, just throws it to all the major outlets, whether it be your Spotify or your Apple Music or YouTube Music or what have you. It's just yeah. everywhere YouTube, so that you can. If people are curious to listen to your stuff, they can find you where they're at. Because I know what it's like to try to track somebody down and even i've given up after uh, like they're not on these places i'm familiar with so i'm like uh eh, whatever and move yeah. on so yeah. it's good to well, be in many places we got into a conversation recently on somebody else's channel uh, about like you know oh what do you do to to bring in dudes and stuff like that um because like <laughs> to bring in dudes well, my product or that was a different conversation um uh, no eye contact. No, it was like, you know, how, how do you <laughs> get backers and, and customers? Because like in, <laughs> in Comicsgate kind of or Iron Age and, and the mixture of the two or the indie scene like on Twitter and stuff and YouTube, that's only so many people. Like, yeah. you know, I think Fun My Comic has maybe 4,000 uh, people that have accounts there. So wow, like crazy. things like that, like it's not a very huge scene. Um, so just getting funded is uh, is kind of a... Um, 
you know, it's like a Herculean task for some mm -hmm. and totally understandable. But so I'm like, you know, you got to go to where the people are. And that's why now that I have a physical copy, <clears throat> I can go and I can sit in, a, um, you know, in conventions around here uh, all throughout the Midwest. And I'm hoping that that will. Yes. Yes. Thank you for buying. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm just hoping that. Uh, oh, look at Infinitail, man. Wait a minute. Now, you know, we're not like giving out extra prizes. So you're like, why are you buttering <laughs> us up? <laughs> I don't have blood run, unfortunately. I can't hold that up right now. Ooh, yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not so, yet. So, I need time to back. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, 90 days. So, but like, you know, like you got to be to where the people are buying. Um, you know, one of the, cause it was like, I was on a show talking about what was your biggest, you know, uh, some most memorable experiences on your campaigns. I was like, yeah, I, I don't mind doing uh, shows and everything. And I was doing like two or three a day sometimes and stuff like that. But it really, it was like, well, where are the buyers? Where are the buyers at? And uh, and that was, you know, you can go through your analytics and oh, there's a spike. So it's like I can get a table at C2E2, uh, like the Chicago Comic Con, uh, for maybe 400 bucks. And there's like tens of thousands of people that walk through there, you know. So just having a physical comic and being somewhere where people are willing to pay for mm -hmm. physical comics is is all the difference, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just to branch out so people can see your name because not everybody is in, you know, you are on YouTube, uh, comic book circles, you know. Yeah, it's tough. It's the kind of thing I think if I ever wanted to pursue it more pro professionally, um, I absolutely have to reevaluate how i do what i do and i think the way it is it probably to your point won't grow that much but um yeah that's just if you're trying to cut it in that business sense i mean that's tough i don't have all the answers i think marketing and expanding is something that a lot of us are trying to figure out what's going to be awesome though is i think once one person figures it out i think that's going to kind of like a cascade people up. yeah you're going to get a yeah. lot of people it might not be every single person but I think we're all going to kind of build off of that. I think I keep feeling like that's that's right around the corner. Just feels it like feels that like that, there. right? And I'm just mm -hmm. I'm kind of like I'm telling myself, yeah, you're just hopeful because you're you would benefit from that happening, that kind of thing. And I'm like, I don't know, like even normies, you know, uh, when yeah. like uh, Neon and and Sparkle Girl or whatever her name is uh, are, are from, yeah, yeah, from Starfish or whatever their name is, uh, Clownfish. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I made it. Uh, anyways, uh, you know they're like nobody's interested. Nobody fucking watches our videos when we talk about anything from you know Disney or whatever. It's like, yeah, great. Where is everybody getting their entertainment from? You know, right. Uh, and me and my family, I think we mostly get it from older content. Like yes. we don't really, we don't really. Oh, we're not like oh, what's coming out new? You know, it yep. doesn't really happen. Like, Date night is Marvels. Uh, good... Yeah, M Marvels is dead on arrival, dude. Like oh, I don't God. Haven't hurt anybody the only people yeah. talking about it are the people giving it shitty you know shitty reviews the, yeah the so, youtubers who are making watching, they're, they're like yeah. don't watch this but yet they're they like are first in line with their bucket yeah as they leave the, the, the movie theater you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah meanwhile they get selfies with popcorn and sodas <laughs> like this yeah. movie's yeah, next to the big uh marvel's poster in the back yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I waste their money on this like, the whole yeah. is like i can't wait you to hate this movie our, uh, yeah. what are you doing I was gonna say, um, our date night is Goodwill buying DVDs, man. A dollar twenty nine. Oh, nice. Sometimes they're half off. And like I said, I grew up. I didn't see a lot of these movies, so I'm like, I've heard of this one. I guess I'll just pick that up and try it out. And so that's nice. where we get a lot of our entertainment from. But I was gonna say, I've only been in these circles for I don't know, six eight months or something. And mm -hmm. just in that short period of time, it feels like there's been a shift. Hmm. So I don't know how long you guys have been kicking around here. Certainly longer than Too I long. have. <laughs> Too long. Too long. Yeah. Edwin's, I'm, this thousand I'm an old man there. in this. Uh, an old man yeah, in he's this. been at this for a while. Yeah. 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 Does it? Okay. So for somebody that's a veteran of the scene, do you feel like it seems like a shift's coming? Or are you more of a like, oh, I'll, I'll wait and see kind of approach? Yeah. I mean, it comes and it goes. There's, there's times mm -hmm. where everything seems to be on an uptick, and there's times where rhythm seems. To be on a down tick, so just okay. you gotta ride the wave either way. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, because it's like, all right, it's uh, Ahsoka, terrible. Everybody's bitching. Marvels, everybody's, saw, you know, oh, it's terrible. So, okay. Um, when are normies gonna start looking for other stuff? And uh, it's it's kind of it's like we've got all these moving parts. We're just there's that missing link to bridge to bridge the yeah. audience. 
And oh. I think once you get that person to break through and redirect their eyes, then they're going to see all of these other products. And I think that's when that cascade. There's a lot of hope. Are happening. I think. Yeah. yeah so. I think there's a lot of hope with Eric July kind of breaking through and getting a lot of attention. So yeah, even um, Alpha Core, did it break a million yet? I know it was, it was pushing yeah. there fast. 800,000. Yeah. That's unbelievable. I thought he was going to have a huge, I mean, kind of a big drop off but not really from uh ISM 1 to ISM 2 and I thought with this offshoot I was like this is really a big test I it think did half a million in half a day so yeah, un- yeah. yeah. oh no yeah. <laughs> is he going to be yeah, able I'm to not go concerned to tonight like yeah. <laughs> one thing that's I'm cool not, too is oh yeah. sorry go ahead no that's all right go ahead I was just say it's really cool because he has all the success and I keep seeing um like I found all these people through a drink with crazy's channel and mm-hmm. now Eric July's people's hanging out with him. I'm like, well, this mm-hmm. is kind of cool. And Shad was in there. So it's like you got the FNT guys are getting and they're with Rip Reverse. And now they're coming down to the lower level. I mean, Royce's channel is, you know, what, what, 3,000 I mean, people or something like that. So it's yeah. just like they're hanging out with him. And he has access to people like us. And he's oh, building right. his thing. And it's just like, so to me, I don't know. I feel like all the signs are pointing in a certain direction. And it just feels like it's things are going to click in place at some point here. Yeah, yeah, sooner I, rather than I, later. I, think. I really think that it would be so beneficial for the mar- for for us creators and for the uh, potential audience if those guys who are constantly bitching actually say, "Hey, guess what? There's a whole lot of indie creators out there. I can't yeah. vouch for all of it because I haven't read it all or haven't experienced it all. So, but go here or go there and look at these things and just yeah. start pushing the fucking market." You know, not only, you know, because for one thing, the rage bait stuff only has so much of a payoff. Mm-hmm. Like eventually it's negative returns um, right. because, you know, it, you you know, at first you're like, oh, oh, I hate it, too. And then it's like, yeah, I hate it, too. And then it's like, really? You guys are yep. still watching that? And then it's like, yes. you're sad. Why are you still watching that? You know, but yep. in, in so they have to pivot. They have to start offering something else. Or they're going to start losing their numbers. And that's kind of what I was talking about with like Clownfish TV is like they're losing numbers. Now, they'll be like, well, whenever I do uh, interviews of uh, of creators, uh, I don't get any views or whatever. It's like that's not the point. The point is, is that you're doing these things. You're putting this out there. And there are people who are new to it who are going to see it. And is if you keep off, it's like my, <laughs> maybe this is a bad analogy, but it's like with my kids, they'll be like, oh, I don't like that. It's I, I, for dinner. Oh, I don't want to eat that for dinner. It's like, okay, give it to them a couple more times. And, and guess what? Suddenly they're eating it. You know, it's like right, right, right. Well, that one time when it was new, they were like, oh, I'm not going to try that. Oh, you also, give it to them you again. Gotta, uh, you got to be careful about chasing that algorithm too much. Yeah. Sure. Yes, exactly. Well, yeah. Please. That's another thing to, to like, I know it plagues the quote unquote creative industries is this whole mercenary approach to promotion Mm -hmm. where a lot of people seem to think that they can get short term like help or like expect certain, you know, short term help. And then they just like later, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, you you know, you get on a channel and then it's like, well, you never watch their channel. Like, mm, you know, and, right. and it's, you know what I mean? Like, like, I'm sure Royce is like, wow, I had this guy, you know, featured his book and the bastard never came, like, never, he's never in my <laughs> chat. Like, what the hell? You like, used me. Well, I don't know. Huh? Well, I'm not is. able to hit all the channels, you know? Oh, so, yeah. Like, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. But, me personally, I don't feel bad. Like, I don't even, like, for instance, a lot of the, uh, the Kings and all that shit. I can't see their shows because yeah. guess what? I'm sleeping. You know, I yeah. work at yeah. in the morning, yeah. morning. So yeah, I, I usually work in the afternoon. So like, unless you're streaming mm-hmm. late night, I, I don't, I can't ever be in your chat. Yep. Like, yeah. Like, and I, you know, and I'm like, the exact opposite. It's like, I can't be in your chat if you're like streaming after nine or in my time or whatever. So what, what uh, I don't get yeah. to understand with all these big channels is why can't they like divide it, do your hate video. And then at the end be like, by the way, check this out. And if they don't mm-hmm. have time to do it themselves, it's like, um, I'm thinking like Friday and Tice, bring on somebody that can check out this stuff and be like, this is our like look here guy and just bring them on like once a month or something. Be like, I found these yeah. things <laughs> so they can do their videos. Yeah. Like, oh, here's, here's 10 sucks. new, Maybe here's 10 new book. books that I found yeah. that you know, might be interested. <laughs> yeah. There's gotta be a way to do your hate content, feed the algorithm, get your viewers, you know, what they want and then slip that in at the end. And even yeah. if you're not the person doing the research. I feel like you could, you could have a guy that would probably just do it for free. Oh, no, you, you can tell from word of mouth about who's doing what 
You, know, you don't have to look that hard. Like there's plenty yep. of people yeah, doing it's not that cool tough. stuff, you know, and I mean, really I mean, I doing all that. So the only reason I found all of this is because I was watching Friday Night Tights, and I can't remember if it was Kiko Mon or Maji Chan or one of uh, Royce's people. Yeah. They sent in a super chat, and Gary read it, and he was like, "Oh, there's this channel." And Shad went, "Oh yeah, I've heard of that. That thing, you should go watch it." I was like, uh, "All right," and then I did, and I was like, "Oh, he was right. This is cool." And yeah, only, that's all it took was that like 30 seconds out of yeah. the show to do something that small wow. reach me. And I now mean, imagine that with your music, like me, you know. Imagine if Shad was like, "Hey, Everly Music, check him out on that." You know, it's like, "Oh shit!" Like, you know, just, oh, just a little mention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what we got here is one of them American sippos. American like, yeah. he's got these things, got the guitars and his chip tune, Donny. Yeah. Uh, Boomerang, yeah, wall chip tune. Uh, oh, right. I love it. Yeah. So, uh, if any of you big guys are out there, and. Uh, I've heard it through the grapevine. We have at least one uh, who does watch the show every now and again. So uh, I will say, please start talking about some of us smaller yeah. guys. I really appreciate it. I think we please all would. May I have another? And <laughs> so would all of the uh, potential customers because people are tired. Like, what are they calling the MCU, the CW now? Because, uh, like, the yeah. production value is so terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't heard that, but that's actually I've seen some of those wow. trailers, man. I mean, I swear, it's, it feels like the, the, the writers of, like, uh, The Flash are yeah. having yeah. these MCU projects now. It's terrible. Well, yeah, they it's, turned, it's like, so Marvel cool. action movies into, like, Sweet Valley High. You know, like, uh, what dude is gonna watch that? Anybody with a positive testosterone count is like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> they're doing uh, the Disney, uh, the Disney comedy. You know, look looks to the camera every time our character says oh, something. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it's that. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's funny. That's yeah. funny. And yeah, when, pity what are you talking about? <laughs> the girl in the office, they call ha- yeah. uh, funny. No, we're, they're just pity laughing her. Well, yeah. you can't like make everything is of self-deprecating that. humor for the hero. Oh, he's yeah. such a fuck up. Oh, he's saving everybody. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, uh, no, that's like, only so if it's a white silly. dude. Only mm-hmm. if it's Fat a white Thor, dude. man. Fat Thor, <laughs> yeah. the so wrong. People are like Fat Thor's funny. I'm like, you're you're the problem. Fat Thor's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> they should have made him is... even more ripped Thor. They should have won the opposite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hashtag not my Thor. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and close it up. Uh, do you guys have any last minute uh, shout outs or anything that you'd like to mention? Uh, mostly, you know, uh, give me a follow on Twitter. I'm at Edwin Aces. Uh, that's where you can find any updates, any news about any projects. That's the first stop that I usually go to. So uh, give me nice. a follow. I'll follow you back. Yep. Yeah, right on. Yeah, I would say uh, definitely go pick up Bloodbone. Looks pretty awesome. You got 90 days to get yourself a copy, so do that. And while you're at it, pick up a copy of Infinitale. Chronicle. <laughs> yeah. And Look also, that. hey, why not get yourself a copy of Immortal Rising? I don't there know we go. Subtitle, right? Is it just number one? Yes, it is both. just yeah. number just number one. <laughs> not about one. Both good reads. I think I got this one even off of Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yep. Yeah. So yeah. Amazon sweet. edition. Nice. And this one that's came with like, all kinds of it. stickers and cards and stuff. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, means annoying. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh all right uh thanks for joining us everybody uh, and until next time enough talk. Peace.